In our last video, we spent some time at a campsite in France, getting ready for the adventure ahead. We played a lot of basketball. Oh. Ah, you did it the first one! Oh. Why are you doing so cute? Experienced some crazy hailstones. There is massive Look at them, they're huge! Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god. <laughs> and ate a lot of French pastries. We left the campsite ready to start exploring the beauty of France. After a quick stop at the cute village of Pierrefins, we headed to the Champagne region. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is a super exciting one, because what are we doing? We're uh, visiting a little place called Champagne. Yeah. We're going to be going to Reims, which is the home of um, Tattinger Champagne, which I, I like. We're going to do a tour of there and then we're going to do the Champagne driving route um, from Reims to, I think it's called Urbanite. So, yeah, we're going to take you along with us and it should have some amazing views. Sun's out as well. Yes. Good. So, let's get to it. Where are we? We're in Rheem. And this is? One hell of a cathedral. Yeah, this is the Rheem Cathedral. It's like probably the most famous site. It's like right in the middle. It's class. Grabbed a little snack before we hit our Tattinger tour. What'd you get? Pizza jambon. <laughs> no, from us. From, from <laughs> Cheese pizza. You can't eat jambon. <laughs> no. We highly recommend you do a Tattinger tour when visiting Reims or any sort of champagne tour so you can fully appreciate the effort and process that actually goes into making a bottle of champagne. Tattinger's tour will take you 18 meters below ground level into the breathtaking Gallo Roman chalk quarries, where you'll learn all about the origin of these quarries, how Tattinger acquired them, and the process of aging champagne. This champagne house in particular holds 2 million bottles of Tattinger. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> So we are done in Reims. Done. And done. Absolutely done. And now we're headed towards Epernay. So there's loads of different routes you can do on the Champagne region, but we're doing Reims to Epernay, which is about 77 kilometers. Well, it's good. So hopefully we should get some really nice views. picnic spot it's just on the side of the road but you literally are picnicking amongst the champagne region it's so pretty So we've made another stop and I found this place on Google. It's this, it's a lighthouse and it's a museum, but we're interested in the lighthouse part because I can give you views all over the vines. Brad, just round up your fun fact there. 
built in 1909 by a guy who wanted to promote his new champagne in the area. And they had like a bar and restaurant and used to have parties and whatnot. But then in World War One, um, it got bombed a lot by the Germans because it was a um, used as like an observation point. Which is quite interesting because this would have been like where the trenches stretched, would have been somewhere very close to here. This would have been bombed and destroyed and shelled. Hmm. Not to imagine now. So the great thing about um France is that there's loads of um Heirs. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but um, a lot of them are free and complimentary and they're set up in like villages um, and this one is in a village in the Champagne region and there's four stops and there's free water, free waste disposal, free grey waste water disposal, so it's pretty good. So welcome to Fridays with Builder Brad. <laughs> welcome everyone, today we're in the <laughs> south of France. Um, we have ourselves here a 2016 plate camper van. Um, Lovely stuff, but the uh, owners didn't have a table outside. And obviously when you're in the front, you want to sit outside and uh, enjoy it, don't you? So, what you need here is you need a pencil. You put it behind you. That's what builders do. You need a way to fix it. So, your assistance here, can you? Pick up a piece of uh, wood, any size, I don't know. And we're just going to make a little bracket to sit it on. And then we can sit outside with our chairs in the sun. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll set up for this evening and we will start revisiting the rest of the Champagne region tomorrow. So, night. Bonjour! <laughs> we're, on, Bonjour. <laughs> we're on day two of our Champagne route and we're heading to Urbane today. And again, it should be just as beautiful as yesterday's. And we're staying on a vineyard tonight, which I'm super excited about. Capital de Champagne. My second Champagne in the Champagne region. My first Orangina. <laughs> Sell some lunch. Brad's happy. <laughs> We're fed and watered. Just one last thing we needed is a little baguette. Okay, what are we off to do now? Drive over to a vineyard for some champagne tasting. Yes. And then getting on it. Champagne style. <laughs> Classy style. <laughs> We've arrived at Champagne Boutique, which is surrounded by vineyards, and we get to stay here tonight. <laughs> so, we did a tour, and we did a tasting. A few tastings. <laughs> yeah, a few tastings, and we really liked the Champagne, so we made a purchase. <laughs> what did we get, Bradley? Ooh! Hopefully it has a fancy box. It does! <laughs> so here we have, this is the... This is our third choice. Oh, so this is the, the standard Brut. We're going to save this for a celebration at some point. Then this is actually... Oh. I think this was like the most expensive one, but in terms of like value, it's fantastic and it is delicious. And then my choice was the Extra Brut, which is... So most of these have nine grams of sugar in them. The Brut. Most champagnes are standard, but this one only has two, which makes it nicer for me because I, I don't like the sweetness. So there we go, look at that! Voila! We are sitting in champagne amidst the vineyard with our own champagne. Literally, it's champagne heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in champagne, champagne. champagne. Cheers.
So that comes to an end of our time in the Champagne region and this has been amazing. So we're going to end this video here but tomorrow is just as exciting because we're heading across to Paris. Hurry! We're going to find ourselves a campsite for the night and we will pick up the action the next day when we go in to explore the city. So make sure you tune in for the next video but for now the sun is starting to set and we're going to leave you with this view. See you in the next video. Bye.